Public relations can mean different things to different people. It can include elements such as newsletters, competitions and giveaways, lobbying, issues management and investor relations, to name just a few. But most people think of media relations when they think of public relations. Here is a very simple example of how media relations works. This is John. John has a small business providing financial planning advice. He has two staff working for him and business is going pretty well. He has good clients and he feels confident that he is doing first class work for them. But one thing that frustrates John is when he reads the newspaper or industry media and he sees his competitors being quoted. Sometimes John thinks that he could have said the same thing. Other times he disagrees with what other people are saying and wishes he had the chance to air his viewpoint. One day, John sees a story in the newspaper that makes him really cross. One of his competitors is saying something that John disagrees with, and even worse, John thinks that people could make the wrong choice with their investments as a result of the comments. Later on, John is having lunch with his friend Pete, and when he tells Pete about the newspaper story, Pete suggests that he should call the journalist himself and talk to her about why he thinks the advice given by the competitor was dangerous. John decides it's a good idea. He calls the journalist Jane, and to his surprise, she is really pleased to get an opposing viewpoint. She says that she is working on a follow-up story and she will use John's comments in the piece. She also says that she'd be interested in meeting with John and hearing more of his thoughts on the industry. So they arrange to meet up for a coffee and they talk about financial planning, the needs of clients, the challenges facing financial advisors and all kinds of other issues. Jane sees that John is reliable, well-informed and articulate. Now, whenever Jane is writing a story about financial planning, she contacts John for his viewpoint and often quotes him in her stories. Sometimes, John has clients come to see him who have read one of Jane's stories and think that he sounds like a good person to talk to about their financial needs. John has started using public relations to help communicate important information about financial planning and to position himself as knowledgeable and experienced. This is a very simple example and a comprehensive public relations program would include activities such as media releases and articles, briefings and roundtables, and of course contact with a much wider range of journalists than just one. So contact with one journalist is a good starting point, but there's a lot more that John could do to make the most of public relations for his business.